Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today and machining some parts and in an effort to try to provide better quality video I picked up one of these cheap GoPro cameras you can get off eBay these 4K Ultra HD cameras I thought maybe if I had this inside the enclosure I could give you a different angle and maybe some better shots of what's actually going on the nice thing about this is it comes with all these different accessories and so I thought well for sure I'll be able to find a way to mount this inside the enclosure I needed it to hook to this magnetic base so I could mount it somewhere in the mill and would you believe it it didn't come with any kind of little connector for that so I decided to 3d print this connector so as you can see it's going to mount it mounts to the GoPro like so and then the hole here it can go through the rod and you just simply tighten it up and now it securely mounts it so that I can do some video and provide a couple of different angles so let's go into Fusion 360 we'll see how this was drawn up this is what I came up with this will allow me to connect to the GoPro up top and then down here at the bottom I can hook this um, connect this to a magnetic base and then I can stick the magnetic base on the mule somewhere and adjust the camera angle I looked on Thingiverse and some of the other 3d modeling uh, sites and wouldn't you believe I couldn't find anything like this for the GoPro I was actually a bit surprised since I couldn't find anything I decided to design my own so let's take a look at how I went about doing this all right for this we're going to be using metric units so I'm going to change this to millimeters so the first thing we want to do is create a sketch we're going to use this panel right here this bottom there we go we want to create a rectangle and let's use the center rectangle we'll click dead center we want to be 15 millimeters wide there we go and 40 millimeters long alright next we want to draw a circle we can come up here and select circle center circle you can also use the shortcut by using the C key our first diameter is 15 our second diameter is 10 and then a center 5.5 that'll be our through hole next we want to go to polygon inscribed polygon we want to click right here in the center and we want to move it down 4.65 millimeters all right that looks good in fact let's hit D for dimension we'll change this right here let's make this 12 millimeters give it a little bit more meat right there there we go that just gives a little bit more material right here okay next we want to hit escape and then we want to select all this that we just drew I want to copy it control C 
control V to paste and then I want to just move this down to the bottom here click OK and now we have the same at the bottom as we do at the top there are a couple different ways we could have mirrored this and used this as our center line but this is just another way to do it alright that's all we need for this sketch so we'll hit stop sketch now we want to go to modify press pull we want to select everything and then come back and deselect these two center holes we want this to be 15 millimeters thick looks like we missed some deselection here here we go okay all right 15 millimeters okay now we're looking at the top so we're gonna flip it over and go to the bottom and turn our sketch back on now we want to modify press pull we want to select this area here and this area here these four areas we want to pull it out four millimeters negative four millimeters remember this is the bottom all right we can turn that sketch off now let's just give this a nice little finish and put a small fillet or fillet let's try two millimeters no not good let's try one is that too much okay let's try point zero let's try point five millimeters a half a millimeter there we go that looks good all right let's get right back orient okay now okay now we want to put another sketch right here so let's create sketch we're going to select this plane here okay now we want to go to sketch rectangle center rectangle we want to move across this line until we find the center with the triangle okay we want to go 2.9 millimeters and 20 is good all right now we want to go to rectangle two point rectangle we want to go over three millimeters and 20 high then we want to hit R and do the same thing here uh, three tab 20 whoops three millimeters tab 20 okay all right that looks good now down here at the bottom we want to select rectangle center rectangle find the center of this line again and we want 
1.5 millimeters. And let's go 40. Like so. And then let's create a circle right here. Let's see, that should be 10 milliliters, okay. So 12, okay. So the diameter of my rod is 10 millimeters. And I don't want the through hole to interfere with the hole here once we cut it out. So that should be good. Now we're going to hit T for trim and I'm going to get rid of some of this material, some of these lines here that we're not using. There we go. All right, looks good. Get some of these. There we go. All right, now we can hit stop to sketch. We want to modify press pull. We want to select this area, and this area, and then this area right here. Okay, that looks good. All right, select OK, and there we have our GoPro mount. Now we just need to send this over to the 3D printer, print it out, and we'll be ready to go. If any of you guys are interested in a GoPro magnetic base adapter, I'll post a link where you can download the file. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions, or questions please feel free to comment stop by and visit the website thanks for watching please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe